Okay, bring the light out. So, block this pawn out of the pass. Oh, very aggressive. Let's just push here. Yeah, they're going real quick. So, just hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get a nice position. Don't mind not castling my king traditionally. So, we'll go for a virtual castle, potentially here. Just sit it here. And let's grab. And we want our king to go here anyway. It's not having any of that. He wants to get his here. So if we bring the knight in, or even the bishop actually, let's get the bishop up. Does capture. That means we can get the knight involved. And there's no let up. He wants this space. So maybe with virtual castle here. Yep. Sacking the bishop. Do I want my bishop being taken at this stage in time? I don't mind it. It is a dark square bishop. It's blocked by its own pawn. But you know what? Today, ooh, I don't really want him having this though. Come in here. Move him loose a bit. Yeah, let's just bring it back. It slowed them down for a second anyway. Alright, so they're attacking the pawn. We can take. We'll be waking up their bishop. We've got our own bishop, so we could leave it there. And I think I'm just bringing the rook out. And we can take... Is he looking for a magical fork of some sort? Or the bishop attacking our king? Our king wants to come here anyway because we were looking to castle. And maybe bring this bishop here. Is there anything on his king? No? Okay, let's just bring the bishop here. Let's take, we're on the knight. Knight's got no protection at the minute. Behind the knight is the pawn which has no protection. And behind the pawn is the rook. So it's a nice little bit of a situation going with the bishop. So he's going to be looking for some sort of check on the king or a piece of ours. I'm not sure. I think the bishop can come and put a check on. He's not doing that. So he saved his knight. For a, if we go here, his rook comes across to attack the bishop. Bishop can come back. Yep, okay, let's do that. If they forget themselves, our bishop is protecting that square. Let's bring it back. Got to protect the pawn. It's attacking the bishop, which is protecting the pawn here. So we don't want that. We could attack the rook. It's still protecting the the pawn, attack, attack. They can forget themselves and think, oh, I'm going for it. Oh, so it's on a white square. Bishop can come and attack the rook. Give it a little bit more hassle. X-ray through. I'm mindful he's coming with his bishop, but we can go here. So I'm going to attack the rook with the bishop. Has he landed on anything yet? No, we do have a check on his king now. So I think we're going to go with that, with the rook check. So it's moved out of the way, so we get his rook off the board. With the bishop move, anything else? No. We've got the support of the rook on the bishop. So the king has to move. Obviously, he's a bishop and his knight's going to take them. Oh, and they've resigned. Oh, another frantic one in the early part of the game from the opponent. But again, we're looking at trying to get those better positions, if anything. 